It's just before 9.30 right now and I'm in Harajuku because I need to get my hair done. Clearly, it's a mess. It's been two months since my last dye, so going into the salon, my usual place called Aniri, and I'm gonna see my family after that and let you guys tag along with me. Kind of toned, so obviously wash out after a few washes, but for now. So I'm back at my parents right now, hence, you know, this is the background of my parents' place. Like you see, my hair is a little gray, but it's, again, just tone. It is going to wash off. My hair's also growing, I'm trying to grow it out, trying to have like long blonde hair come winter time. So we'll see how that goes. Um, just had bagels like you just saw. And then when I went thrifting on the way back from the hair salon, I just got I may briefly showed you, but I got a black simple tank top. The lady said it was from like the Czech military that they died. Can't fact check that, but it still cost like twenty dollars. So a little, a little pricey. And then I got this silk beige button up. I know I have a ton of button ups, but this one is half sleeve, short half sleeve. So perfect for the summertime as like a little cover up. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I'm trying to wait for my parents to come home. They were waiting for me and I bought them bagels, but then they're not here. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Oh yeah, and this is my necklace from my own little DIY collection. I named this Flower Friends necklace. So, you know, we're all friends with flowers in this house. It is Sunday morning and yeah, I didn't really record much last night, but I basically just had dinner with my family and Dylan and then my friend came over to my house and we just sipped on some bottles of wine and it's the next day. Today, very exciting news for me. I am getting my first stick and poke or just tattoo in general. Are my parents gonna be disappointed in me? I don't know, but I'm doing it anyways. I don't know what my parents expect, but my hair is pretty blonde. You know, getting a little art piece on my body is not too far off from this whole aesthetic that I'm going for. So yeah, that's 
what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna train out an hour so that I can get a little fruit branch on my arm. Very nervous, but very exciting. So I'll let you guys how that goes. And then at night, I'm gonna go vote because in Tokyo right now, it's the election for the Tokyo, I don't know what the translation is, but one of the government entities. So I'm gonna do that because, you know, I'm a citizen of Japan and I gotta be responsible and put my vote where I believe it would deserve. So yeah, I will be leaving in like an hour and let you guys know how my tattoo goes. Cause I'm sorry baby For all the things that I've done But my heart's are empty Hi, we are back, or I guess I'm back home now, and I've gotten my little first tattoo, and this is her. It's a little fruit branch. I honestly don't really know what the specific fruit be would be. It could be an apple, it could be an orange. That's up to interpretation of the viewer, which is beautiful because all fruits are beautiful. There's really no deep meaning to it, given that it is a flash tattoo and not like a custom piece I wanted. But honestly, at this point, like the freaking Gulf of Mexico is on fire. I don't know how much longer this earth is gonna be inhabitable. So like, why put deep meaning on every little action I do? There's no reason. So I just have a cute little fruit branch on my arm. Um, it really didn't hurt. Or okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration. I was able to feel the needle go through my skin, going boop, like, you know, in, out, in, out. But no blood, no excruciating pain. And for now I have this, I have meal. Life is good. I just had some leftover okonomiyaki for lunch slash snack and then I'm watching Vampire Diaries. I'm on season 7, 40 more episodes until I'm done. Maybe make a little bright bracelet or necklace and then I'm gonna go vote because like I said, that's my duty as a citizen. And yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any recommendations for how to heal a tattoo, please let me know. I am clearly new to this. For now, I just did get an ointment that the artist recommended. So I will be using that to rub on my wound for the first week. And then after that, I probably use like shea butter or coconut oil, a little something more, a little more natural. Um, and yeah, that's, that's my plan for now. And this is a cue that this segment is done. Let's go vote. I just made a necklace and yeah, gonna go to my parents again. You know, they live close by, so we're gonna go to school to go vote together and I will probably eat dinner at theirs, buy some groceries. Yeah. Moo and I are exactly where we were four hours ago. My hair looks really great in this lighting. Wow, I hope it fades soon. Anyways, went to see my parents, had dinner at their house again, and yeah, they asked, or I mean, I did hint to my mom beforehand, so she was like, uh, so did you actually get 
a tattoo and to that I did not lie. I was truthful and I showed her what it looks like. And okay, maybe we'll just... And honestly, they took it pretty well. I'm very grateful that my parents are very understanding and that they do trust a lot of the decisions that I make. So while they were a little like, uh, and like now you can't really face Japanese society anymore. You're gonna be grouped into as like those delinquents or like counterculture kind of people. Which like, that isn't even a, that shouldn't be a bad thing in the first place, but yeah, like my mom was a bit, or my dad too, were a bit like, yeah, you really did this kind of impression. But still, I think like they warmed up to the idea and that got used to the fact that it is just now on me. No words of anger, no words of hate were shared at all. And yeah, very peaceful dinner. I mean, I'm sure my mom thinks it's cute. It is an adorable fruit branch. So she likes fashion. This is basically fashion that's on my skin. I hope you guys have a, okay, well, jeez, wow. I hope you guys have a lovely morning, noon, night, day, wherever you are. And that uh, I'll see you guys real soon. Thank you guys for sticking this long. Love you. Mm-hmm.